outside of all the grief and the hurt and the pain, I went to your uh, your listening party, mm-hmm. and that had to feel good. It felt like a lot of love was in the room. You had it to feel did. it. I was happy, but I was sad too because, like, my last listening party, it just made me think about it because my best friend was there, so it was like something was missing. Mm-mm-mm. But I had him there with me, so. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Sure, yes, sir. Let's get it popping, man. You know what time it is. Uh, for this special edition of, oh, man, what is it? It's, it's, it's Women's Month, right? Or Women's History Month. So uh, I t- I'm dropping all ladies this month. First time I ever did this, so I'm thinking uh, I want to do something special. Uh, speaking of somebody that's special, enchanting. Is in the building. Uh, is the only lady of 1017, right? Yeah. Uh, only lady of 1017. She just dropped the tape. Love Scarred. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I got it. Love Scarred is out right now. Make sure you go cop that. Um, For sure. I mean, it's the big one. The biggest is in the building. What up, dog? How you feeling? What's going on? Hey, you looking good. Thank you. You look like you glowing. What's going on, man? It's just fresh off the road. It don't I just look like rocked fresh out off the last road. night. Yeah, you got to go look at my story. I just rocked out. Okay. And I packed out three different events. By yourself? Last night. Me, yeah, one by myself, and then I did an event with Rennie. Mm. Wait, Rennie Rucci? Mm-hmm. Oof, that's hard. Yeah. I'm feeling that energy. How, how's, how's everything going on? I did the tape been out for a little bit now. Mm-hmm. How's the momentum? Talk to me. Let's mental check-in. How you? What's going on? Everything's going. It's going great, you know. I've been getting good feedback, nothing but good reviews. So I'm pretty satisfied. Okay. I'm ready to get back in my creative bag and start back, you know. Yeah. Gearing up for the next project. This all R&B. Yeah. How do the people feel about that? You're not getting mixed reviews or everybody liking it? Talk, tell me the truth. It's a everybody place. like it, though, for real. Because mm. it's like nobody really complaining because I just dropped a rap tape, you know? Okay. I drop enough for everybody to be satisfied. Give me time. Just be cool. When did you drop the rap tape? November 18th. Okay. But this one actually was kind of late. You supposed to drop this a while ago, mm-hmm. right? Because I remember you talking about this. Maybe last year. Yeah. What was the hold up? What happened? Um, just trying to figure out like how to really make everything make sense. I want everything to be cohesive. Mm. So I had like I had a different again. I had a whole different track list back then, you mm. know. So I read went back in and did some different songs to create a different vibe, like to make everything cohesive where it could work all on one tape mm, okay all right got it i like that so look every time i do an interview i try to uh, start with these icebreakers i feel like we kind of cool now but mm-hmm. i mean i'm still gonna do the icebreaker all right, all right. yo Simon, can you pass my phone right here just th- it's right there i think throw it to me you can just toss it to me appreciate you all right so i'm gonna ask you some questions right and when i ask you the question i just need you to give me first thing you think about it okay all right <laughs> oh, <Lord>. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing that come to mind when you when you hear OnlyFans? Uh, free bands. Free bands. <laughs> Is it really free? You gotta show something, right? I mean, it's free bands. So she even if you show- me. Wait, are you showing stuff on, on OnlyFans? I never, I haven't been. You will only know if you subscribe. That's the only way to know. I feel like it's a finesse, but okay, free bands. It's cool. You'll never know until you take that risk. How much your OnlyFans cost? 
I don't know. How <laughs> you not know how much? <laughs> <laughs> check the price. Somebody no, check you it. can only inquire if you're ready to spend. That's type of crazy. Okay. So serious she- inquiries only. Okay. Wait, it's not even, a, it's not like the link not even in your bio, is it? You got to like search it. Nah. Yeah. Sometimes I, I be posting it sometimes. You know, you got to catch it while I post it or just find it some kind of way. They searching for it. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about uh, social media guidelines? I think that's some bull because they always flagging me and I'm getting in trouble and I get blocked when people come talking about me. Mm. They be like, yeah, you you skinny ass bitch. And I be like, okay, well, you a fat back, big back hoe. <laughs> and then I get blocked for 30 days. That's mm-hmm. f***ed up. All I did was defend myself. What type of community are y'all running? It's kind of like, uh, what finesse say? It's cool when they do it. Feel me? It's a <laughs> problem when I do it. <laughs> Facts. Now I, I remove my page. What's the craziest thing you think you got blocked for? Like the most... Oh, because um, I said, no, somebody, I had reposted, somebody had said, like, I slayed something, like, but not like that. Like, you know what they mean? Like, girl, you slay. Yeah, like, nice. they said some shit like that. And somebody reported my post or some shit, and it said, for um, enticing, dangerous, because uh, I said slayed. Like, I'm on there talking about, Slayed, slaying people. <laughs> like, like what the? F- <laughs> yeah, like, come on now. Who I even says somebody, that? Shit? I told somebody to hit my phone. I said, "Yo, hit me." Bro, they do. They go too in. They do what they want, bro. It's crazy. They take too literal, but they never get the people that's really doing bull. So I asked you about OnlyFans. I should have asked about this right after. What? Serious inquiries only, right? Mm-hmm. You might not know nothing about this. You might be a little too young. How you feel about Reddit? Reddit. Uh, it's like I kind of know about it. I think that's like <laughs> that green as hell. <laughs> I think it's like red. <laughs> <laughs> I think that green is. You say you think they green? Yeah, cause they be putting folks on there. Yeah. That's up. They be giving out free sauce. Free sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that's not right. So you not you not rocking with Reddit? Mm mm. All right. If they, they if, the, if they if they drop a bag, you gonna rock with them. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. All right. How you feel about um? First thing that come to your mind when you hear ten seventeen. Gucci. Gucci. Big wop. <laughs> yeah. That's like that was like your dream. So you always wanted that, right? You always saw yourself with Gucci. I always love Gucci. Is it is it what you expected? Like being here now. It's like my calling phone again. Just ringing he up. going crazy. I what? don't know who it is. It's ain't no caller ID. Answer it. Who? Answer See? it. Answer it. No. Answer it. Mm-hmm. Say what's up. Hell no. Ah, that's crazy. You gonna answer? I thought you was big, the big one. I am, but y'all not ready for that. It's somebody we know. I don't know shit, but. Usually when I answer no call ID, if somebody yelling in my ear. Oh, you block somebody? I be blocking people. For what? what? Why are you blocking that person? I don't know who that person is. In the particular. person it could be, because I feel like y'all two right here, y'all know exactly who it, it could, could be. It could be anyone. <laughs> y'all can't. There's a lot of people blocked. <laughs> so the person it possibly could be, right? Just, let's just There's a list of block. Let's say people. wild imagination. Ain't no telling. Okay, Shaq. All right, hold up. Wild imagination. The mm-hmm. person it could be, why would you block that person? You seem such like such a nice girl. I am. So why would you block such a person? So obviously if they're black, then they have to be the problem, right? Because I can never be the problem. What happened? I'm so sweet, nice. So sweet. Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to uh, 1017. Is it is it what you expected it to be? Yeah. It's like... I couldn't really expect, though, for real. Because, you know, you never know. What's you can think and feel like however you want to feel, but sh- whenever you get there in life, it's completely different from like what you could ever think or put together. You like, know? No, give me an example. 
Oh my I'm God. trying to follow, but you okay, got it. Okay, so Jesus. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> it doesn't. Okay, it's the <laughs> <fuck> you do. <laughs> like, okay. You can feel like I wanna do this, right? Mm-hmm. What what's something that you used to wanna do when you was a kid? <laughs> I don't know. Watch X rated videos at night. <laughs> okay, well. I was a kid. I was so, a okay, yes, so kid. say that's what you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have your certain expectations of whatever you think it's going to be. You think it's going to be so intriguing, that's why you want to watch it. Mm -hmm. But you could watch it whenever you do get to that point in life mm -hmm. that you're able to watch it. Mm -hmm. And you maybe not m might not be you know satisfied. You'll be it like, wasn't uh, always cracked up to be. Yeah, like it ain't really all that. Oh. And I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not trying to get you in trouble. It's okay. <laughs> hey, I'm not. Saying, honestly, like, let's just chop it up. I'm not saying that. Honestly, but I'm just saying, amazing. yeah, shit is gonna be different from it's what great. you expect. I, I think I heard yeah, great things. It about. exceeded my expectations. Hey, we here with it. Facts. Hey, hey. where your cup at? Right over there. It's kind of far. Bro, just move the mic and get the cup, bro. It's pretty far. <sighs> okay. <laughs> cut this shit out. It's a 1017. It's a 1017. Where's my juice at? You just raw dogging that tequila? Yeah. I'm That's a wild the type boy. of person you are? No, I take this tequila, I drink good liquor, so mm. you don't have to mix it. I know you drink that poison, that dog water. Boy, please. Real boys drink Hennessy. Yeah, the ones that'll shoot you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Them the real bitches. The ones that wear black Air Forces. I don't got no black forces. Bro, if you don't got, it's fine. We still love you the same. No, I really don't, for real. I want some, though, so I can take a picture and look like a, a menace. I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm on, I'm on my bullshit. I got my black forces on. You know I'm on fuck shit. All right. Last question of the icebreaker. Mm hmm <sighs> Loyalty, respect, love. If you had to choose which one comes first, which one comes second, and which one comes last, give me the order. Love, loyalty, respect. <sighs> what has to come first? Uh, first of all, bitch, respect me, ho, or we ain't gonna have shit. Mm. I'm gonna smack the fuck out you. Um, further than that, then I'm gonna need loyalty, then love. Mm. You know, love, last. love is like it's cool. You can love somebody and still cheat on them. Can I don't you? want yes. That's what what? You yes, right. You right. You right. yes. But what is cheating? What does that mean? Somebody cheat on you? What, that, that, what do they mean? Does that hold what? any weight? It holds weight to me. That's what you get cut out for. That's why you get blocked. Yeah, eventually, I might not block you off the rip. Is it really? I like to really let people, like, um, see what the f they doing, you know? So I'll give you a lot of chances, but I really be plotting on you. Like, I'll give you a lot of chances. Yeah, I'll take you back, take you back, take you back, take you back till I hate your ass. Are you cheating back? I didn't say all that. I'm asking. Mm hmm. Oh, you can't give that to the no. people? No. <laughs> so you're not the type to cheat and tell. Well, why would I do that? So you just keep it to yourself. I mean, I don't cheat. So are you a good liar? Am I a good liar? Are you? If I have to lie, if, yeah. What would be a case where you would have to lie? To the police. <laughs> and I'm gonna lie my ass off every time. So you don't believe in snitching? What? No. I have never snitched in my life. So what is snitching? Snitching is putting someone else in a predicament to look bad in any kind of way. If it's putting me in jail, if you telling my nigga I did something, any type of snitching is that's some hoe ass shit. 
That's so the, what happened to you shouldn't just be putting yourself in these posi- positions? That got nothing to, to do you. with you. What I put myself in, whatever predicament, that don't got nothing to do with you. So even if you put yourself in a predicament where somebody else can be harmed from it, it don't got nothing to do with them. It really don't got nothing to do with them. <laughs> what? Just shut up. You shouldn't be there in them type of situations you if you're going to fucking run your cool. mouth. So we in the car, right? Yes. Somebody, we in the car. Mm-hmm. You got a hot gun. Mm-hmm. We get pulled and over. And you an innocent bystander. I'm just driving. I don't know. I'm just like, yo, y'all want to get some food? Bet. Let's go get some food. Okay, cool. We get pulled over. Mm-hmm. Police say, hey, who gun is this? Okay, well, I'm the type of, yes, yes. I have took my own charge every Mm -hmm. time. That's why I'm on probation. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money. And we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. Wait, you on probation for mm-hmm. what? I just took my own charge. I got a gun charge. Yeah. But it's cool. Okay. Where you get like, where, where? I get off of probation in the in summer months. You know? You stop drinking that Hennessy. No, I'm gonna keep drinking that Hennessy. What where you get where you get arrested? Don't tell on me. Where you get arrested at? Um Damn. I ain't drinking no Hennessy. But um I got arrested in Ohio. Oh, okay. Right I was leaving my show actually. I mean that's the they arrest me in my cute little club outfit. How long you got this thing in jail? The whole goddamn weekend. Damn. Took a one day. And I was to jail on Friday. I was aggravated. Sheesh. You know what's crazy? Crazier than that, I was interviewing uh, Zanique and she got arrested. Well, she I don't think she got arrested, but she went to the airport with her gun mm-hmm. in her bag. That's, That's the, some shit I do on accident, but I'm glad I ain't never did that. <laughs> that gotta be the craziest thing to get arrested for. That's some shit I would do on accident. I feel like in Atlanta they should just let you go, cause like it's they should just let you take it home, cause you can carry here, open carry here. Yeah, I ain't got pulled over out here with like six guns. I'm God. And they let you go? Yes, with all my guns. That's crazy. So you say respect first, loyalty second, love come last. Mm-hmm. That's that's definitely probably the. That's I the correct order. That because love scarred, I would us I, I would expect you would want love. Yeah, but it's it's like uh, that's cool, but it's overrated. I feel like you just got your feelings hurt. Is it really overrated, man? Please. Talk to me. Look, talk to me for real. Talk to me right. <laughs> here. Look at me. Look, look at me. Don't look away from me. Look at me right here. Wait, do I like the feelings hurt type of bitch? Yeah. You actually God got me that. So you never got your feelings hurt ever? I mean, I have, but I'm a tough ass bitch, though. You know, I don't react how other people will react. I feel like they be the ones. If that you hurt my feelings, I'm gonna get you. I feel like they be the ones that get hurt the worst, or get get hurt the most. The ones that's tough on the outside. Mm. Mm. Not necessarily. You ain't got a front for me. No, for real. Not necessarily. I've been, like, knowing what's up with y'all niggas because I got a brother that's, like, real close in age with me mm-hmm. that I grew up with. So it's like I watch what he do, and I've observed a lot of shit. And I see what the f- niggas be on. You feel me? I didn't help 
my brother lie or you know I didn't see him do the same type of shit that niggas be trying to do so mm. I just been you know up on the game for a minute so you know I don't really get played I'll joke side I be knowing what's up let's get serious talking about brothers how have you been since um your brother passed uh big scar how, how honestly I mean I've been, been, been shit I'm I, you know I'm taking it day by day some days better than others but mm. when when the days that's that's not as good how do you cope with the pain shit i don't know i'm just i'm trying to figure it out how to really cope with that mm. like you know that's not something you expect to have to deal with or cope with so you know, you just have to try to figure it out when you get in that position. The only person that could really understand how you feel was you, right? Do you feel like sometimes the people who can't really understand how it feels to lose somebody so close to you can be insensitive at times? Yeah, mm. for sure. But you, um, I, it's fair to say that some of those people could be some of the closest people around you, right? Or no? Sometimes. Is that does that ever like get frustrating, or make does that make it hurt worse? Yeah, it's like, but I really just I don't know. I'm in a place where I really distance myself from a lot of shit and a lot of people because it's like I already got a lot of shit that I'm dealing with or that I'm trying to trying to deal with, mm. so I really don't have time for like no extra shit. So I really keep a lot of shit to a minimum. Mm. So. It's not really too much. Nobody could tell me at this point in time because we're going to talk on my terms. You know? So who are you talking to, though, like at, in those moments? Because, like, I'm assuming that got it. Like you said, it got to hurt. You feel me? And I, that was somebody that was super close to you. And, like, it's so easy for people to look at somebody else and judge what they might do, what yeah. they might say. You know what I'm saying? But who are you talking to in those moments when you feel like there's nobody to talk to you? Shit, I don't always talk to nobody. I be to myself a lot of the time. Like, I like to, if I'm really, really sad about something, I like to just soak in my own depression. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to put it on nobody else. I don't want to be around nobody with no bad vibes, you know? Mm -hmm. So I usually just soak in my own depression or shit. I try to be around people to not think about that shit or you know get away from it for a minute but i'd rather deal with my own problems if if this interview right could be a message to the to the friends or the associates the people that's in your in your corner and you had to tell them how to be there for you in those moments right mm -hmm. what would you say to them Shit. Mm. Probably to just encourage me with like positive shit and not so much of making it seem like maybe I'm too, I'm taking shit too hard or too serious or, you know, like just encourage me. That's role play, right? Because sometimes encouragement can look different between mm -hmm. different people. I'm enchanting, right? Mm hmm. Um, is a day that I'm thinking about Big Scar. I ain't talking to nobody. You probably wouldn't even know, but I'm telling you right now that this is a day. Yeah. How would you, as my friend and Chatting's friend, approach me, which is you? Uh, I don't know. I'm not good at that type of no, shit. No, like, because like, it's your feelings. I'm, I'm, I'm. This is not even like one of no interview shit. This is really like just me caring about you. Like yeah. how. How do somebody really be there for you? I don't know, shit. Mm. I don't know. I probably need, like, counseling or something. I don't know. Because mm. I really don't know for real. Like, I don't know. I'm not really that person. Like, if you come cry to me, yeah, I'm going to do my best, you know? Mm. But I really don't be knowing what to say. I'm going to just cry with you probably nine mm. times out of ten. I'm an empath, so, like, I feel what other people feel. So if you sad, I'm gonna be sad. So if you ever said you want your friend to just be there with you, not really talk yeah, to you, just be no. There. Be sad with me. We can be sad together. 
you say you you hold it in a lot. How how would your friend know you said? Mm. Give me two signs. I feel like you could tell my energy. Like mm. I usually be, I don't know. You could really tell for real. I'm not good at hiding my emotions for real. I be trying to, but you could tell if something is like bothering me or like off of me. You mm. could just tell my attitude. So it's crazy because <clears throat> usually when <clears throat> traumatic things happen in our life, as regular people, regular people can chill, right? They can yeah. take some time off for uh, what is it, bereavement? Um, take time off of work. You could chill, you know, like have time to relax. As an artist, though, especially this time around, given that you had to so long for the tape to come out, did you feel any extra pressure? Because it's like, your brother just passed. Yeah. And you got to yeah. drop this tape. Was that hard? Yeah, because it's like, I wasn't really inside. I really don't want to focus on that right now. But I had to figure out a, b a way to balance it. Because, you know, I really mm. wasn't worried about that at that moment. I wanted to be. Do you think that took away from the momentum or the extra work that you could have put into the tape? I mean, probably, yeah. If it was a different time, I probably would have been able to focus more on it and put more into it. But I feel like I put a lot into the making of my tape, like the songs. Like, you could feel it when you mm. listen to it. So... I feel like I, I did a lot of hard work on that tape. No, I only say that because, like, you know, as a entrepreneur myself, like, I, I get it. You feel me? Like, they say no days off. But as a human being, I sit back and I be like, man, sometimes I feel bad because it's like you should have been able to just chill and, and, and yeah. cope with that. But the business kind of make it hard to be able to just sit back and cope. Hell, yeah. Mm. You always got to show up and do something. It's um, it's woman his it's Women's History Month. You was a sister, you are a sister. Mm -hmm. Um, what does being a sister mean to you? Um, shit. Just really, I feel like showing other women that they can say and do whatever they want to do for real. Mm. Cause that's what I do. I really live my life like, and it's my way or the highway, and it been like that, and it works. So like, I feel like women shouldn't try so hard to compromise with motherfuckers. Like, don't compromise with people. Be, do whatever you want to do. Go against the grain. Hmm. Is there any limitations to that at all? Is it mm, anything that women gets, shouldn't do? I feel like you shouldn't. Yeah, don't do. Never do too much. Now, it's some shit that ain't worth the money or some shit that ain't worth looking crazy. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's hard. Yo, I mean, I know we talked a little sad moment, but outside of all the grief and the hurt and the pain, I went to your, uh, your listening party. Mm -hmm. And... That had to feel good. It felt like a lot of love was in the room. You had it to feel did. it. I was happy, but I was sad, too, because, like, my last listening party, it just made me think about it because my best friend was there, so it was like something was missing. Mm, mm, mm. But I had him there with me, so. How are you even, like, working right now? Like, how? Like how? how are you working through it? Shit, I don't know, but I'll be trying. It's better than sitting at home and being sad. I'd rather get out and, you know, be around other people, be around fans. They make me happy because mm. they'd be so happy to see me and make me happy. No, that's a fact. Do you understand the power you have? Like, I, I was on your Instagram not too long ago, and I'm like, yo, Shorty really is like a star. Like, you got real fans. Do you yeah. understand that yet, or you still feel like you just chant? I I don't feel like I fully fully understand it because a lot of people be asking me that like, do you? But no, nah, for real, because I live like I don't know. I don't be on that time and like when I go out, I be like a regular person. Mm. You know, I'm not on artist time. I talk to people. 
I fuck with my fans, you know. You seem mad chill. fun. Yeah. You seem mad fun. I be having a ball, and I try to make them have a ball too. So. And then you like, another thing I was there. Like you had like you had Amaretta was there, Callie was there, mm-hmm. but like they wasn't like their support. They didn't seem like they was. This seemed like like that was like your real fam. Yeah, they're my babies. I love them. That's crazy. My girls. Yeah, how are you feeling? How are you feeling the, the 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 woman energy in the industry right now? Are you liking it? You not? Is it? Can it yeah, get better? I like it. I feel like it can get better, but I like it though. It's like. Mm. You know, the real bitches, they f*** with each other. So mm. It's cool. probably the worst thing that's that you're not really rocking with right now. Not person, but, like, what you, you see things going on that you're not really rocking with. If you if, if you could have a do better moment, what would it be for the ladies? Mm. Not so much f***ing bickering. Like, they be bickering for nothing. Like, mm. little ass shit. And mm. some female artists, I feel like, I don't know, like they they're willing to make a problem, you know, just to for a look or something like. Mm. It's not worth doing all that. Just relax and chill. I feel like a lot of that be people be too invested in them comments cuz the comments yeah. separate you. Quick. No cap. They be too worried about them fucking comments. Like the comments. It ain't separate. that serious. Yeah. I don't let that shit get to me. So you don't look at the comments at all. I mean, if I do, I'm not like. No, nah, you're lying. About you cap. It. Hold up. No, nah, you cap. Because you told me. I might me, cuss them back out. Right. You told me you be in them comments. Sometimes, yeah. I don't be just scrolling, though. It's like, if it's. It got to just catch my eye, like, randomly. Because I barely be in my notifications. So if you. If I reply back to you, you really had to do it, something to catch my eye. And that means you had me. Up. Hold on, I'm gonna challenge you about this, bro. I'm gonna be, it's a fan moment. You know what I hate about that, bro? What? Because it seems like nobody never responds to the positive comments. I do. So, that's cap. Mm, you said somebody gotta catch your eye. Somebody gotta have you fed up. I reply to good comments, though. That catch my eye as well. What somebody say? What was the last comment that you responded? What the, what the nigga said? I know what he What he said? Yo, I got my shit like this. <laughs> what he said? Probably some crazy ass shit. What the nigga say in the interview? He said, what did, what did the nigga say? He said. You like uh, shit like this or like this? Uh, I was like, uh, I don't know. Yo did the hand movement and everything. That's great. That was so, spicy. You, you ain't getting no DMs from that? I mean, yeah, that damn post was like going crazy. What was the wildest DM you got from that? Uh, I don't be on Instagram as much no more. So I don't know. I should do it. You I don't kidding. be wanting to see that shit. So what's the wildest DM you got? Um, It's a nigga in my DM right now trying to pay me about, um, to get on video chat and watch me eat or something like that. Bro, that's light. That's light. You should... That's weird. How much he you said, pay How much and I'm weird? a... He gonna be his meat, basically. Oh yeah, that's weird. That's weird. But I'm saying, I mean, what, let, let, hold up, hold up, hold up, because I'm about to be a manager now. Hold up, we can negotiate this. We cannot. <laughs> no, li- no, listen, no live video. You could just record a video and send it to him. Now that's mu- cool. How much is it worth? Shit, how much you trying to pay? Let's that's open the question. DM. Hold up, let's get this popping. Open. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh God, what's your budget? And, and, listen, and Chance is gonna send you an eating video. Big ASMR. Big ASMR. I'm going to get some crab legs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big ASMR. How, how much is it? It's going to be five. You got to put the price out there. How much is it? Mm, it depends. I mean, I need at least, like, you know, 1500 That's the real. Yeah, for the. Yeah, for the. For even entertaining you. So like probably it. like 25 Yo, you might as well just DM them back right now. I'm just saying. I might. But now the dude that you blocked, I get it. I know why you blocked him. Why? That's the guy when you said you be getting cracked? Mm-hmm. That's why him. would I block him? I get it. Because he, he was mad you put his, his business out there. Man, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. 
They don't be mad. So you got like a roster then? I didn't say that. I'm asking you. Mm-mm. Yeah. I don't got no roster. It's, so you just got one? You're, you're a lover girl. <sighs> yeah, something like that. You 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 you, you be asking me, man. You ain't talking to mm. me. Talk. You 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 capping, bro. I can't yeah. cap. Like, what's going on? I feel like you came in the I middle. Don't know. You came in the middle with some some like the middle was. I some don't know shit. what's going on. I'm just vibing right now. You know. That's what the young kids call it these days. You never been in that predicament in life. Oh, like a um. You kind of taken, kind of single. What Jada Pinkett call it? Entanglement. I'm entangled. Enchant, enchanting me. Yeah. Damn, you got your own shit. <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, <laughs> you got your own shit. So you're entangled. So you got somebody, but you don't got somebody. Know. So you got somebody, but you don't got somebody. I feel like I do. Got, you blush it like I feel like it's all on your face. Like it's mm, so You stressing me out <laughs> with these fucking questions. <sighs> you shouldn't make me be too specific. Yeah, yeah. I can't be specific. No. I really don't. Yo, okay. how do you yo, what's up with um what's up with ten seventeen? We seen a lot of shit go down in the last year. What's up, shit? I don't know. You over there? I wouldn't know. You tell me. I be in my own little bubble. It seemed like you 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 hasn't been distracted about none of that happening. Like I feel like people locked up, passing away. Like it's crazy. Like it is crazy and it's fucked up and it's crazy. Yes. And I miss them. Mm. You know, it's like I don't know. It was like a lot. Bad to bad, right to right to back. Some shit going on. How you feel about it? I mean, it's always some shit. Somebody going to jail or something happening. It almost felt like a curse or some shit. It's like, damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. What happened? It was two girls in the in the group. Was it? It was. <laughs> What's the girl name? I don't know. You know. You cap. What's the girl's <laughs> name? It's like Kesh, like Shade or something. Mm -hmm. Kesh Shade. What, what happened with that? Y'all was like a group or something. No, it was never a group. Word on the street, y'all was a group. That's cap. What happened with that? Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Cause I feel like the people, the people not gonna understand. What don't they understand? I'm not. I'm not. I'm talking, not even what you about to say. I'm just saying, our conversation, like, yeah, they not gonna understand. <laughs> but we understand. But back to Keisha Day. What what happened? Well, she had um, she got dropped from a label, so it wasn't you know what I'm gonna do. Yo, you, you know, <laughs> I'm still here, so. Yo, I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what's up with you, bro? That was crazy. It was wild. What happened? It's like, I didn't need, I don't, a lot happened fast. It's like I woke up one day and, oh, you will be tired. Now you're going to make me look bad. They're going to say she bored. Mm-mm. Now nah, you're going to make me look bad. It's, cool. it's bad. Uh, see what I'm not bored. They're in the comments. Oh, she bored. Okay, let's take a shot so, so we can shot, be lit and not bored. Take a shot. Take a shot. We'll be taking a shot to this time. It's your turn. It's who turn? Nigga, you got the cheers. Oh, all right. I need the bottle. Hey, give me your cup. Don't give me that damn. No, um, I'm not. Give me your cup. You got four, four, five. What the fuck is that? A shot? Man, no shot. All right, man. You don't have to drink the whole thing. Bro. Father God. Come on, man. Bro, reach your hand. Damn. Come on, man. Come on, what we taking a shot to? Um, uh, 
We taking a shot to uh, Y'all stressing me out I don't know Shit oh Um, God. We taking a shot to More money More money Only fans money ASMR video money Maybe your daddy money Your uncle money You like old niggas? I don't give a f they like me. If they wanna spend their money, then that's cool with me. But what's the line? It gotta be a line you draw. I'm not fing with no old ass nigga. Like fing with him like for real. Like I mean, me and him. Sugar daddies want some sugar. Like I that's your oh, problem. Hell no. Nah. Girls he always want a no sugar, sugar daddy, but not, not don't expect to give no sugar. Like Yeah, I'm straight. So what you want to just be as be in his company and he gonna pay you? Mm-hmm. I'm not fing you, my boy. Give my man a kiss on the cheek. Mm hmm I might can do that one. Girls ain't right, bro. Y'all the devil. Mm-mm. Y'all the devil, man. What's going on now, man? We got the tape dropping. You going on tours and shit like that. What's going on, man? Having a ball, having a ball. Um, fit to record. Get back in the studio. You want to drop some rap shit? Drop some rap shit. Drop some rhyme. Be videos. That's what I've been working on. Two videos. Would you like better rap or uh, R and B? If you had to, if you had to choose, would you like doing better, making a rap music or R and B music? It depends on what I'm on. Like, I like making both. Like for two different reasons, though. Like, singing is like a mm, you got to take time. You know, put time into it. Effort. It's like, yeah, it's more of like a passion. And then rapping is fun. It's like a favorite hobby. It's mm. like a feel, you know. I like to rap. It's fun. It's easy. It's not really don't take a lot of effort for me. So rapping is like like. Yeah, that's easy. That's fun. Mm. I make rap songs fast. Okay. Not twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a pro. You gonna make some you. You dropped some. I seen some shit you did with CEO Trail. I think that was his song. That shit was hard. Mm -hmm. You had something with uh, Gucci, but that was like you only had one song with Gucci. That's when y'all all did the song together. No, we got me and Gucci had a couple songs. Yo, I feel like Gucci was like when I was young. Like he was like the trap god for real. For sure. Like that was crazy. But you Especially, younger than me, I'm so from the south. So. You younger than me, so you couldn't have felt how we felt. Like man, please, I had free Gucci in my bio the whole time he was in jail. Before you were signed. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got some old ass posts I had pulled up. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah. You know another thing that was hard. I thought. What? You got a tattoo person at your uh, listening party. Mm-hmm. That shit was hard. And a lot of people got tatted. They got the love skull That's tattoo. That's right. They got a whole bunch of shit. That's hard. I ain't really a tattoo guy. That shit hurt. Man, please. I know you got 100 tattoos, bro. That shit hurt, though. Some shit hurt. What's the worst The worst one? Oof. Fingers. Them bitches hurt it. Oh, my God. Mm, mm, mm. And it, like, I had all this done down here. That shit faded off. Like, you could see it kind of, but it's gone. And that shit hurt it so bad, and I sat there for hours. And that shit is gone. You got to get your fingers tatted, like, multiple times for it to stay. I'm not doing that shit again. <clears throat> what's, what, what's I might the, do it one more time. I ain't going to lie. All right, what's the next What's The next worst? The next worst, my stomach. Your stomach? That's a My side. Like I would think, ribs. like, a toe or something. I don't got my foot. Tell it yet. Or ankle? I'm horrified. I got my ankle. That wasn't bad. Your stomach? Damn. That hurt like a motherfucker. Not your neck? <sighs> no, that wasn't that bad. I'm pussy. I can't get nothing. I got my chest done. That shit hurt. And then the face tats, I like that. It feel good. It's like a good pain. You like a you like, you like a dominatrix type of chick. No, fuck no. Don't do nothing to me. Yeah, no, nothing crazy. Oh, so you don't like crazy? No, I'm scared of that. I'm trying to get to know you. I'm trying to know what you like. 
Dominatrix is crazy. You're not finna hit me with nothing. Yeah, my little paddle won't hurt. <laughs> Shit, will it hurt you? <laughs> you let somebody paddle you? The fuck? They don't hit me with nothing. Mm-mm. I mean, what if you met somebody that was with it? That was, y'all could trade. Paddle for paddle, stroke for stroke. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> We're not doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> we going we going you know keep it traditional oh so you're basic in a bit no no I, mean, I didn't say all that but now all them tools and shit that's too fucking much I mean shit you, I'm whips pretty, and all that type of stuff no but you use toys by yourself probably that's the point of them to use them by yourself fucking kids have you heard people say Play with yourself. Yeah, yourself. So you wouldn't do it with like two people, with like you and your man? What the f***? No. Probably not. Mm. So what you, like, what, it, like, it's, it sounds, it's giving boring. That's my business. It's, it's giving basic. My it's giving basic. I could ask you this. I if a nigga could ask you, if a nigga could ask you, if you like this or this. And I didn't answer that question. I told Pacific. You said you was getting drilled or some shit. I said I be getting cracked. Same shit, drill, crack. That's <laughs> not the same thing. A, Y'all act like I said, I be getting my running in that pussy like a crash dummy or some crazy ass shit. You did say that on one of your interviews. I didn't say nothing crazy. You said you be. No, what I said. You said something like that. I, ain't I said I be getting cracked. That's what I said. It sounds like when you getting cracked, running that pussy like a crash dummy. It sound, it's what is that? Do y'all even know what getting cracked mean? No. Be getting spanked. No. Like, you be getting cracked. When I hear a girl say she be getting cracked, the first thing in my head, like, damn, she be getting cracked. Like, that's no. That's that first. just mean, like, if you do f, you know, you be getting f good. Uh, that ain't what I hear. When I hear, and I'm pretty sure the men, when they hear, you be getting cracked, you be getting cracked. Well, getting what the spanked. fuck they thinking? Because, no. That's a Baltimore Yeah, thing? we don't think that. I'm about to say, because if a girl says she be getting cracked, I'm like, damn. That mean you be getting <laughs> fuck good. Yeah, you like. Be cracked. <laughs> y'all thinking <laughs> getting ran through or something. No, hell no. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> yo, you said it, yo. You said it. But you thought I was ran through or something? Nah, I ain't. You don't give that. Yo, you guys. This shit is jokes. <laughs> Yo, I don't this give that. This shit is now, jokes. you might be ran through. Who, me? Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. You give me that. Men can't even get ran through. Yes, y'all can. Y'all are easy as fuck. How? I'm very much Y'all are easy as fuck. I'm super hard to get. A bitch could get you in you the same day. <laughs> pause. Shut the fuck pause. up. Hey, yo, pause. Pause, pause, pause. <laughs> pause, pause. That's pause. what I'm saying. Pause. Now you want to pause. Pause, 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 pause. Now pause. you want to pause. That's crazy. Pause, pause. Or what? I'm super hard to get. You're not. You saying. Y'all niggas are not hard to get. It's what? so easy. So you're saying, like, no, it's not. It's easy. No. You yes, think just because you're you be first messing night to niggas. That's them young niggas that you be them super That's horny niggas. That's you old niggas too. Now old niggas. Middle age, old, all niggas. No, old niggas. First, old niggas be wanting to fall in love and get married. Yeah, they do. Yeah. See, I got to be careful messing with these old niggas, man. You I don't miss with old niggas. Find yourself with a ring on it. I don't miss with old niggas. The nigga that you got blocked probably old nigga. No. No, let me stop. You probably been fucking with gangsters. He probably be in my DM like, yo, bro, let me stop. I'm joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, no problem. No cap. I got a girlfriend. Is <laughs> <laughs> is damn request? Yeah, let me stop, bro. Ooh, oh shit. man, yo, it's fun, man. It's, it's, it's always a good time talking to you, man. Yeah, you crazy. I'm crazy. You crazy. <sighs> so, what makes you so hard to get? Because I got a girl. So you're even, hard to get. Even before I had a girl, I was hard to get. So she worked hard to get you. Yeah, but even before that, I was hard to get. I was working. I used to go to sleep on girls. Girls used to hate it. They used to, 
They used to call me all type of names. I used to go to sleep on girls. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not playing with these hoes, these girls. Hmm. <laughs> we'll block that out. Hmm. It's, 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 it's Women's History Month. Stop. Oh, okay. What makes you hard to get? Shouldn't be. I'm hard to get. How? I'm hard to even see for real. Boy, I see you clear as day. I you? Yes. But some niggas, some like niggas trying to fuck with me? No. Niggas want what you, what you do, W Y D you are they? Oh no, they don't give that. Oh, you got niggas applying pressure. <sighs> I'll be talking about what what niggas I got. I don't got no niggas. Enchanting everybody. Yo, it's, it's, it's enchanting, right? Mm-hmm. Enchanting, not enchanting. Mm. You could say however, I mean, enchanting. I mean, fuck, however you pronounce it. This was fun, bro. It was fun talking to you. I wish you the best, though. No cap. Thank but you. But you lit, though. You, 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 you like I that. I appreciate it. Nah, for real. I fuck with you, for real. You my dog. Twinsky. That's some new young age shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Say that again. Twinsky. That's some bullshit. No, Twinsky. that ain't no bullshit. That's, That's that Drake shit. My twin. You must. Yeah. Do, yeah, okay. I thought he was talking. <laughs> I thought he was talking about a girl. What like, you say? My you my treacherous oh, son. Oh, I thought you were talking about a girl. I mean. 21. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm fucking with you, yo. It's chatting. Oh, man. Great conversation. It's always a good time. Uh, we got to do it again. For sure. Oh, man. We're going to do it again. Yes, sir. J Hill. J Hill Podcast. Uh, Women's History Month. This is a good one. Enchanting. Um, let people know how to follow you for the people that don't know. Follow me on Instagram at L-U-V Enchanting. And follow me on Twitter at L-U-V underscore Enchanting. And, yeah, go get my music on Apple Music. Love Scar. Just no, look right up now. Enchanting, yes, and Love Scar. And now, if you ain't listening to Love Scar, you're done. Me, your mama's a hum. What is it? My twin ski like this? Twin ski. Gang. It's a wrap. We out. J.